Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I read somewhere, a day well lived is medicine unto itself. I'm going to start this video by saying, a day well begun is medicine unto itself. Because I will be talking to you about the four Ayurvedic morning routine practices that I personally follow. I have completed the Ayurveda for Yoga Teachers course from Kaivalyadham, a very reputed in institute in India. And I would love to share some knowledge about Ayurveda, this ancient, beautiful science of Ayurveda, and especially about the practices that I have been implementing in my life for a long time now. This is again just to share knowledge. If you do have any medical concerns or any doubts or any questions, please feel free to consult your own doctor before you start any new practice. Now, like I said, this is about morning practices and mornings are all about releasing toxins. I'll be talking about tongue scraping, oil pulling, drinking something warm in the morning and very interesting, dry brushing. Now, in this video, I will just talk about tongue scraping and then in the next videos, I will be talking about um, the rest of the practices. So make sure that you watch this video, subscribe to my channel so that you can get to know when the next videos are up and watch all of the videos uh, so that you get to know a little more about each of these practices. Right, so starting off with tongue scraping. Tongue scraping is as important as brushing our teeth or flossing and it should not be overlooked. Okay, as per Ayurveda, our oral cavity is the gateway between our body, our mind, and the environment. And it is said in Ayurveda that toxins begin in the mouth and then they're spread into the gastrointestinal tract and into the rest of the body. I'm sure you've noticed in the mornings when you wake up, you have a coating on, on the tongue and you have morning breath. So throughout the night, Toxins, digestive toxins called ama in Sanskrit or in Ayurveda, build up on top of the tongue and that's what uh, creates that coating. And along with that, there are bacteria and maybe even food residues. And you want to scrape all of those impurities off the tongue before you even drink water or eat anything because otherwise it's just going to bring all those toxins back into the system and they'll be reabsorbed and all the work that the body has done to expel those toxins will go into waste so you definitely want to scrape off all those impurities first thing in the morning now not only does it help to um, improve oral health um, but it is also very very beneficial for the digestion with, uh, which I will be talking to uh, you about in just a bit. Uh, also it helps to prevent any gum infections um, because you're taking away all those bacteria okay and to decay uh, cavities also. Right so about digestion it is said in Ayurveda that digestion also begins in the mouth. That's why it's so important to chew our food properly. And uh, the saliva breaks up some of the food and it's a very intelligent system. It kind of sends signals to the rest of the digest uh, digestive system uh, for it to get ready for what's about to come. But if your tongue is coated, this whole intelligent system is impaired and that will lead to uh, your digestion not being as effective as it could and it could lead to more armor, uh, digestive toxins to be formed. So you want to avoid that. Also, what's very important to note is that um, that coating can kind of impair the uh, effectiveness of your taste buds. So by scraping away all that microbial load, your taste buds will be more alive and more active. That will increase and improve the sensitivity of your tongue to taste. And that um, will reduce the need to add a little bit of salt, add, add a little bit of salt, sugar, spices to make the food more tasty. It could mean that your, your taste buds are just covered. And um, that could also lead to weight gain because we eat more, um, because we're not satisfied by just five um, bites. We want to take 10 bites because we don't feel, we don't taste the food properly. So that is something also very, very useful to know. Right, so 
Uh, tongue scrapers are available in plastic, in copper, in stainless steel like this one. I personally use a, a stainless steel scrape. <laughs> stainless steel tongue scraper. I used to have a copper one, but uh, I switched to stainless steel because um, it is resistant to corrosion, to any stains, it lasts really long. And like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I drink water from a copper pot throughout the day. So I want to, I don't want to overexpose myself to one metal uh, because uh, too much of anything is not that great for you, right? So I want to balance it out. Now, how do we use this? I'm not going to demonstrate it here, of course, but um, you just hold it, hold the tongue scraper on either edges, on both the edges, and standing in front of the mirror, you're going to stick the tongue out and start the strokes from the back and bring them to the front. So starting from the back, working your way towards the front of the tongue. Now you want to avoid any aggressive strokes, uh, you want to keep them gentle, especially if you're just new to this. Um, and about 10 to 12 strokes are good, not just one, one is not going to be that effective. So about 10 strokes um, is good enough. And uh, you can wash this in between each stroke if that uh, accumulation of AMA is heavy. Uh, and then of course after you finish using it, please wash the tongue scraper well and keep it in a clean place. I hope that this information was interesting and useful to you. Please subscribe to my channel once again so that you can get to know once the next videos about the other practices are up. And please do like this video if you found it useful and share it with your friends, with your family or anybody who could benefit from this information. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon again with more information about my Ayurvedic practices.